In this example, we're going to do a calculation of the surface area of a cube if we know what the length of the edge is. Um, this should be a program that's pretty straightforward. We're going to ask the user to enter the length of an edge, and then we will go ahead and print the uh, surface area result as the output. A couple of things to keep in mind is that uh, we want to make sure that we do three things. One, we're going to input the user's response. So we need to create a variable that will do that for us. We'll then go ahead and compute you, the surface area. So we'll have a block that will do a lot of calculations uh, based off what the user presented to us. And then finally, we will take the results of that computation and output it um, with the correct answer. Uh, one thing that I did put in the comments here above is what the surface area formula is. And the surface area formula is going to be equal to the, uh, uh, the length to the second power um, times 6. So the length to the second power is actually the, the just kind of like the normal area of the side. And because a cube has six sides, that's where the six is coming from. So we're just going to times that by six. And that, again, should give us our surface area. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize our variable for the edge as length. And I'm going to equal that to an integer. Uh, the, pro the question itself uh, specifically asks us to enter this as an integer, not as a float or a decimal number, because that won't be uh, necessary at, at this point in time. So we're again, we're asked to have the length of the edge entered as an integer, hence why I started off this as an int. And then I am going to ask the user to input that. And I'm going to enter a message here um, that will essentially pop up when the program starts to run. So that will go ahead and run it for us. We can go ahead and write it here too so that we actually run length input, um, which is essentially the message that will come up and then followed by a prompt to uh, enter a number, right? So in other words, this is going to be our input message to ask you and the user what the length of the edge is. The next step is going to be actually computing the surface area based off what the input is. So again, the surface area formula is going to be equal to um, the length to the second, the, the length squared times six. So we'll go ahead and uh, create a variable called surface area, and we'll equal that to six times the length to the second power, or length squared. And that should actually take care of the surface area formula. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It'll go ahead and take my length, whatever I enter as length. It could be 8, it could be 10, it could be 20. And then I'm going to square that by 2. And whatever answer I get from this, I will then multiply that by 6. One thing to keep in mind, and something that I'd like you guys to notice, is that there is no unit here. Um, so this could be entered in miles, it could be entered in kilometers, it could be entered in light years. It doesn't matter in this case, although you'll have problems later on where, or projects later on where you will be specifically asked for the uh, units themselves. Because in other problems, you'll be asked to convert to other um, 
units. So maybe the program asks for an input in miles and then wants you to create a program that would then convert it into kilometers um, or vice versa. But in this case, we're not working with that yet. So we're just entering the length of the edge as a uh, in terms of a unit uh, and, and uh, just a standard unit. So there's no miles nor, nor any kilometers, etc. So now that we have our formula, we'll go ahead and output. So we'll go ahead and print the output. And then this is pretty straightforward. We'll just run the print function and go ahead and call the surface area variable. And once we run the program, we're asked to enter the length of edge. And in this case, I'll just enter eight. And our answer is 384. If we were to take the length of the, um, if we were to take the input of the length, which is eight squared by two, that would give us 64. And then 64 times six will be equal to 384. I hope this uh, program was very helpful um, to you guys. I think that uh, if you notice that it's, it's really just four lines of code um, in order to compute that. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, but if you have any questions, you're always more than welcome to uh, write your questions down in the comments below and uh, I'll go ahead and answer those for you. Till then, I hope you guys found this very helpful.